Hey, I'm Nate Navarro, and this is the Spectre NS Dimension, the very first multi-scale instrument to come from Spectre. I'd been hoping this would happen for a long time, and I'm sure many of you guys felt the same. Here it is. We have a poplar burl top over a swamp ash body, Fishman Fluence pickups and preamp, more on those later, individual brass saddle tuners, and a fully contoured body, which I'm a huge fan of. Whether you wear your bass low, medium, or high, the curved body gives a greater area of contact for more comfort and stability. We have a five-piece maple and wenge neck with neck through construction, 24 frets over a wenge fingerboard, and sealed die-cast tuners. And now the part we're all here for, the multi-scale. It's 34 to 37 inches and gives exceptional low-end clarity, especially if you're down-tuning. For example, in the intro I was tuned to G0 standard, which is only three half steps away from a full octave below standard four-string tuning. Still, the pitch of the lowest notes were clearly discernible. They didn't just turn into a mess of garbled frequencies, and there was a consistent punch and power between all of the registers. If I were to use this tuning on a standard scale bass, you would certainly see a loss of clarity and an even more noticeable loss of volume as the strings lose tension and become sad jump ropes. Let's hear another example in G0 standard, but without distortion. Listen for how the clarity of the multi-scale is present in widely voiced chords, even in this super low tuning. If you want to hear any of the bass parts in this video isolated, without drums, I'll have them all at the end of the video. Perfect pairing for the optimal scale length is the revolutionary Fishman Fluence system. The dual soap bar pickups forego copper winding and instead use microelectronics and optical techniques to cut out unwanted noise and offer versatility like never before. The active system models multiple types of pickups, which are accessed through the toggle switch and push pull pot. There's also a two band EQ, pickup pan, and volume control. Let's listen to all of the pickup voicing options in this next example. I'll keep the EQ flat and bring the bass up to standard five string tuning. I'm running through a Gensler Amplification Magellan 800 head into a Bass Array 2103 SLT and Bass Array 153 SLT cab. I'm capturing the audio with a Shure Beta 52A, AKG D112, and an AKG P2. <laughs>
Now for a couple of my own takeaways for this base. The look is fantastic. Spectre's choice of woods and finish bring the already striking dimensions of the instrument to life, and I feel they've put a lot of thought into their implementation of the multi-scale as well. Notice the point at which the frets cross over being perpendicular with the neck. It happens right at the ninth fret. Now if this point were to be moved towards the headstock, the fanning would be more pronounced in the higher frets, making them more difficult to play. The reverse is true too. If the point were moved towards the body, you'd have to stretch out too far for the low notes. Various manufacturers have different points at which their frets cross over the perpendicular position, and for my fingers, this seemed to be the easiest transition from a standard scale instrument. I'm not saying that the ninth fret crossover is my golden standard, but the way the neck joins the body and the way the whole thing sits together when I'm playing, I don't need to consciously modify my technique at all. And whether I'm playing lower bass lines or higher chords, it all just seems to work. Tonally speaking, it has everything working in its favor for down-tuned music. And you heard the amount of variety we have from the Fishman Fluence. Really good stuff. Well, thank you for watching my demo. Check out SpectreBass.com for more info. And stay tuned for the isolated bass tracks. I'm Nate Navarro. Take care.
Mm-hmm.